Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Chia here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new short movie. The name of this short movie is What if Naruto was an evil scientist and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie. Now before continuing this, shout out is due where it is due. Shout out to my boy Elite Toxic for suggesting me this idea. Now make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And I'm back to making your ideas and you guys might be wondering why I'm making a lot of short movies these days. It's just that I have an assignment that I need to submit. So yeah, I'm busy probably there so I hope you don't mind and enjoy the content. And as for my second channel, I will try my best to upload regularly there but they are just, you know, as the channel says, Apollo Extra What Ifs. Those are the scrapped out ideas that I, you know, wanted to make on my main channel but couldn't extend the story or couldn't make the huge plot. So I just upload them there as they are, as much as I can make them at least. So yeah, I'll be trying to upload maximum amount of content there as well, as well focusing on this channel and your recommendations. But it is what it is and in the end I too got tired so I hope you don't mind and yeah that's just all. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Roll the intro. The story begins. 12 years after the QB attack in Konoha Gakure no Sato. As it was October 10th in night time, the village was well lit up and the music could be heard as the kids were celebrating and playing the play of the Yondaim and the Shinobis defeating the Kyubi no Yoko. And as for the older generation, they were just sitting and relaxing while drinking and reminiscing about the events, reliving the horrors as well as telling the tales to the younger generation, as well as telling them about the people who have passed away and died fighting against that monster. Overall, it was a peaceful time. As now we go towards the darker side of the village, the red light district, where every misdeed has happened. As we go towards an abandoned rundown looking apartment complex, where we see many of the lights flickering, going on and off again and again. As now we go inside to see that it was a messy huge room that looked like a lab, and there were many toxin chemicals and plants there alongside with many notes as well as seals there. We specified top secret and had many toxin level signs on them. As we go towards a person who looked like an early looked in his early teens with a white coat over his body and gloves in his hand, as he had safety hazard goggles on as well. He had dark circle in his, his eyes as well as dead eyes as well. Dead blue eyes. He had blonde hair and tan skin and three whisker marks on each side of his cheek. This was none other than Naruto Uzumaki, the only resident scientist, self-proclaimed scientist of the village, as he was working on something of his own. As we hear Naruto mumble something to himself, this gotta work, we're ready, let's begin with this. As Naruto then brought out a rat, as a light was lit on, as Naruto then said, this is test subject, 1569 and today we are conducting the test of my new toxic on it to see if he is able to survive or not. As Naruto brought out the most thinnest needle as well as the biggest injection he could, it had a purple serum in it. The test will begin and initiate in 3, 2. Before he could reach one, a bell door could be heard as Naruto then turned around, irritated what? As he clenched his fist and teeth, as Naruto stomped his way towards the door, who is it? It's me Naruto. As an elderly voice said from the other side, as Naruto opened the door in an instant, ah Gigi, perfect timing, you're here. Come inside, I gotta show you something. I was about to test my new toxin that I created. Oh, is that so? Yes. Huh, you have been helping out the shinobis very much lately now and your toxin are doing wonders. The paralyzation toxin has been good. Yes, but it is something way beyond that, GT. Something that could be very, very dangerous and could devastate the whole land if it wanted to. Naruto said with excitement that sent chills down his spine. Um, what do you mean, Naruto? I am about to test this on my favorite test subject pet that is always saved. Test subject number 1569. Who again? It's a rat. Naruto said, uh, okay, if you say so. As Naruto then said, wait, Gigi, please, safety equipment first and stay six feet behind. 
I already have antidote ready in case something happens to me. As Naruto then injected only one drop inside the rat as the rat started to decay in an instant. <laughs> it works! Oh my god, Naruto, what is that? Urizen was terrified at what he was seeing. This Okage-sama is what I called the acid that burns from within plague. What do you mean? This can be used to but think about it like this. If this is infused in the air, everyone that inhales or breathes or is even in that atmosphere will dissolve until there is not even a single muscle left on them. That is dangerous, Naruto. Why are you even doing this? Ah, oh, my bad projects. You know how much I like to finish them. What else have you built? Oh, nothing else. Just um, zombie virus as well as... Wait, what? what is a zombie virus? If I, you know, water these on the graves of those who have died, they'll be revived as zombies. And I have built it a zombie zombie army seal as well. Army seal? What do you mean? Well, with that seal, I can control them. And anyone can who has that seal. I also have it here. If anyone goes against me, I can use this as a countermeasure. He showed the seal glowing on his wrist. You already applied on yourself. Who have you revived? Oh, you know, as... Two zombie-like figures, which were quite fidgety, walked there. Oh my god! Said Hiruzen as he almost had a heart attack. They were the Yondem Hokage, Minato no Mikaze, in a zombie fight state, as well as Kushina Uzumaki. But they were completely human, but fidgety. Hello, Hiruzen Sama. Minato? I yes, I it is me. As Minato's arm fell down. Oops. <laughs> I uh, apologize for that. As he grabbed his arm and lankily attached the joints. Huh, I need to give you some strength booster, it seems, though, John. Caught John. You, you know about them? Obviously, GG, I knew. <laughs> you think how long you can hide this from me? As Naruto was now in front of his face. You know what? I get it why you did. What, what, what do you think why I did? It was to save me, obviously. Tochan here told me that he had a lot of enemies, so. Within and outside of the village, you did a good job, old man, and I'm happy about that. Phew. What do you mean, Phew? Uh, I'm just, you know... Oh, I've seen a lot of things in my life, Naruto, but this? This is something beyond. How did you even able was able to achieve this? Gigi, everything is able to be achieved through science, even immortality. Is that something you want? I don't know. It has been in my bucket list, but I don't know. Well... If it is ever a desire, then you never can be too sure. Naruto, the path you're walking is too dangerous. You know that I have to put a halt on your endeavors. But knowing you, I can't stop you. Because of the, well, ways you have. Well, you know that. I have a lot of ways and aces up my sleeve to use. <laughs> and after what I witnessed, I'm sorry to say this, Naruto, but it seems like I have to... You know, stop this. What? You can't be serious, Gigi. It is my life's work. You're a 12-year-old kid, Naruto. You should go out and mingle. You should even begin, begin your shinobi training and become a shinobi. Well, he, he isn't wrong, Naruto, said Kushina. As she hugged her son, you should really go out and mingle with some other kids your age. Uh, for what? I am happy here as I am, Gigi. They are nothing more than insignificant vermin in my path who don't even understand the principles of science. And they won't be able to comprehend what I'm trying to do and achieve like you are not. I can see what you are trying to do, Nardo, and that is something very selfish. <sighs> it may be something that you can see only now, Gigi, but when the time comes you will be able to understand what I'm trying to do. And what is that, Nardo? What is this vision of yours that you're trying to achieve? You know what, Didi? That is a damn good question. <laughs> All my life, I have been trying to, well, do something, one after another, because I was getting bored when I didn't have any of the time in my hand, and I have created many plagues as well as many viruses that have been stored here. Now it's time to test them. What do you mean? I remember when I was at the age of three, some people in Kona have beaten me, so I infused the alcohol with some special sort of parasites that will eat them like maggots from within. Naruto said, getting serious as his eyes flashed red. 
Leonardo, you're scaring me. As Risen got into a fighting stance, as out of the shadows walked out two more lanky figures. Is that you, monkey? Oh my god! Leonardo, what the hell have you done? It was the first and the second Hokage, Tobirama and Hashirama Senju. <laughs> I'm about to turn this whole elemental nation upside down, GT. It is up to you to come to my side willingly, or I can make you. What do you mean? As Naruto from his black back pocket brought out a test tube, which had a green liquid within. What is that? Stay away from me, Naruto. It is for your own good, old man. It will give you back your vitality. Everything. That is why they look like this. They're back to their conscious self, and they don't have the habits of a zombie. They are the hybrids of human and immortals. Something I want you to be as well. Come on, old man. You gotta be trusting this much. As Ruzen was about to deny this until the final figure walked out. Saru, is that... As Ruzen was astonished. Vivako. But how? You see, Didi, I wanted this to be a surprise, but... <sighs> can't stop her, I guess. Naruto, this is already enough. How far are you going to go? I'm not intending to stop, GD. I was not going to do anything, continue on with my life as I was doing, but you gave me a resolution. No, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> and that is to implement what I created to test out and to find more test subjects. If you want to, then do it on those who are against us. Hmm, that is correct. But there are some people who I might kill from within if they try to get in my way, such as the councilmen. Well, you have these people backing you up. You don't need to worry. Then take this, Hokage-sama, and prove it to me that you are not lying. Be one of them. Be one of us. One for you, one for me. It starts here, Mr. Sartobi. As Naruto broke the top lid, as the liquid was now visible. As Naruto, with a single chug, chugged it down as his eyes gleamed green for a bit until he felt immense pain and he got back up. His skin was a little bit l less tanner and a, a bit paler as Naruto then got up. It seems that everything is of working fine. Human test subject number one. Test successful. Sh you mean you? Yes. So far it has been already tested on the dead. And it has done wonders for them. And as for us, as Naruto jumped. Leaping way out of the apartment complex into 10 feet higher into the air until he landed safely on his feet. It has done amazingly wonders for us as well. It is the ability of science, GT. I have enhanced myself and made myself immortal. Nothing can kill me now. You should take it because I don't want those who I consider close to me to die. As Ruzin, after thinking for a bit, dr drank it. And he too felt pain for a bit until he was able to regain his consciousness. What happened? What is this? You're back to your normal self, old man. And just in time, the Anbus are here. As the Anbus and everyone was now surrounding Naruto, as he was arrested, as Yuzen then walked behind them to arrive in the council chamber to see that Danzo has called in for the council and was holding the Hokage head. This demon has done something to our Hokage. And he's now in the possession of the demon. And I, as the newly stated Kage of the village, ex want to execute both of them. <laughs> you see that? This is what people fear. And that is what I feared. These traitors. Shut up, demon. Naruto was hit on the face until the lanky figures attacked them. As Naruto then brought out another glass bottle, which had black liquid in it. You want to fear something? this. As Naruto broke it and threw it down as the liquid fell from his hand as he dashed towards Danzo and slapped him across the face as the liquid absorbed himself into the body, sending many micro, micro wires, viruses inside. As in an instant, he saw that his body was paralyzing and limping from one side. What have you done? As in an instant, half of his body from within melted as well, as the people were quite terrified. Now as you have witnessed, the direct intact and touch of this liquid will do this to you, and you have all just inhaled it. 
you monster. Give us the antidote. There is none. <laughs> you think I am stupid to give you the antidote right now. There is some things and my demands that I want you to fulfill. What is that? Make Hiruzen's heart of the Kage again. I have done nothing more than to turn him into a mortal. If this foolish idiot would have listened, he would have knew what I was talking about. You're bluffing. Use your powerful strike to strike my heart. Go ahead, I insist. As Yashi taking his chance used his Byakugan and his palm jutsus to attack Naruto on his heart to cut off his chakra network, but Naruto just stood there and after coughing some blood just stood there again and began to laugh. <laughs> See this? Impossible! You should be now dead! I have turned myself immortal and so have I turned Hiruzen. If you want immortality, join me. I promise you long life. Long life and immortality is nothing more than a curse to see the old one you love die. Oh shit. It is a blessing. Think like this. If you are immortal, you have found a way to turn yourself, right? What if you share that way to the ones who you love? This way you have your loved ones forever. No more losing them, worrying about them. You and them will be forever together. As this caused Inuichi to look up at him. So that is why they are all... Oh, they are hybrids. They are dead, but that very wide with the same liquid that I used on myself. As you can see, they are immortals as well. Undead. More like it. Said Inuichi. As Northern said. Yeah, you can say that as well. Okay. We believe you. But... How can they prove that they are themselves? Oh, come on, Chicago. Is it that hard? We used to go to... Okay, enough. You don't need to remind me that, Minato. Jeez, you really are yourself. Oh my god. How in the fucking world he was he able to achieve that? Through science. Maybe we should put this subject in the academy as well. No, are you out of your mind, Zumi? You seen what this kid has done? He has revived the dead. Do you want your dead parents to come back as well? Don't you? I do actually, but seriously, that will be quite creepy. Oh, it's just a blessing and it's just quite nice to have them. I mean, if you want me, I can go and do that. No, please, let the dead rest. You have brought them back and this will have significant change in the world. So be it. If the world can handle the change, then I'll let it burn and build my own world on top of it. As after that, Naruto walked out, as Ruzin was given his hat back, and Naruto then said, Oh, by the way, as I mentioned, it will only trigger if I want it to trigger, so you better stay true to your word. <laughs> as Inuji then said, the kid is quite good at playing <sighs> tactical warfare and mental warfare as well. Well, I gotta give it to him. But why did you accept that, Okage-sama? We thought that something happened to you. It did. I too have turned an immortal now, but it was because he wanted me to stay by his side. And some sane people have to stay by his side as well. But he has just blackmailed us, Okage-sama. How can you allow this? I didn't. It was Danzo's foolishness, and I presume my teammates as well. We were afraid, Hiruzen. Afraid that something has happened to you, and he might try to do this to us? You? <laughs> oh, please, come on. If anything, he would have killed you, and that is what we were afraid of. You have every right to be now, because he holds your lives in his palm and hand. Let the life continue on as it is. You cannot be serious. I am very much serious, Koharu. I mean, have you had any other better idea? I don't, actually. As of that, I'm now reported that some of the people in Kona have died, as their stomachs were literally eaten out from within, and many of the maggots are outside of their stomachs now. <sighs> is that... Yes, before you ask, that is one of Naruto's viruses. My god. I wanted a kid to build some, you know, infectants and paralyzing agents. Not this. It seems he went far ahead. He went far beyond what Orochimaru could comprehend or do. Unknown to, well, Hiruzen and everyone, this was heard by Kabuto and he was fascinated by this. As now we see him arrive at an undisclosed location inside a cave where we see figure with golden slit-like eyes sitting in the darkness. Well, any news from Konoha? 
actually quite an interesting one. A challenger of your caliber has arrived at Uchimaru-sama, and he is much younger than me even. Who might that be? Naruto. He was able to revive the dead, turn them into undead and immortal, and turn your sensei into an immortal as well. As his eyes turned narrow, what? Immortality is no joke. I have witnessed it myself. He, as he was grabbed then by the neck into a choco, you either are out of your mind, Kabuto, or you're just bluffing stuff after drinking way too much. I'm not doing any of this. Why would I lie to you, Orochimaru-sama? I am telling you the truth. This is concerning, said Orochimaru as he threw him down. What else have you found? <sighs> he has revived the first, second, and the fourth Hokage. This is not good. Four Kages of different era, as well as monsters in their own right, revived and immortal. <laughs> the world is not ready for that, and that is not the extent of his abilities. There is more. He has been able to create some sort of viruses that makes people, well, melt. What? Donzo was subjugated to that, and not only that, he has so many, many viruses prepared that are untested. If we are able to get our hands on that, we might be able to decipher them and create our own. You know, that could be quite profitable. Spreading out the viruses and sending out the antidotes and earning a lot of funds. <laughs> My village will be on the top. The kid is a genius and I must meet him. Arrange a meeting between him and me. I believe that is not... I don't care how you're going to do this, Kabuto. But you will. I know that much. And you shall. I, I I will try my best. Try as hard as you can to not make me disappoint. I will not, Orochimaru-sama. As after that, Kabuto left as Orochimaru was left deep in thoughts. Naruto Uzumaki, who the hell are you now? As after that, we go towards Naruto, who was experimenting some more and creating a lot of different viruses. And we see the figure watching him. As Naruto said, you can come out now. You are already surrounded by my different source of ozone layer viruses that I have spread out. If I wanted you to die, I would have killed you many, many times in different ways if I wanted to. As Kabuto was now afraid, he was infected? Yes, if you're thinking along the lines of being infected that you are correct. If you want a demonstration, as Naruto showed him a bird, indicating towards it as the bird began to bleed out from its mouth, beak, and eyelids until it fell down to the ground and died before dissolving and not even its bones remained. What the hell? As Kabuto was now standing cautiously in front of Naruto. Kabuto Yukushi, what in the hell do you want from me? You know about me. Obviously, I have been keeping a keen eye on everyone of Konoha Shinobi. Because of my paranoia, you can say. I'm not here to tell anyone about you and what you do. I'm not interested in that. No, you are here for something. Either you're here for your own agenda or you're here for someone's instead. Which is it, Kabuto? As Kabuto, they looked at Nard. Don't lie to me, because I will know. It's Orochimaru. Oh, Orochimaru of the Sani. What does he want from me? He wants to meet you. <laughs> and you think I'll just go... And we'll have a tea party and enjoy. Is that it? No. Kabuto was now seriously considering his life choices. He was scared shitless in front of this kid who was even younger, two years younger than him. Why? Because the power that the kid held over science, even beyond his, well, master. So tell me what it, it is then. He just wants to have a conversation, that's it. No game behind it at all? No, my master has been trying to decipher the code to immortality because he has a wish to learn each and every bit of jutsus that are built into this world. <laughs> Pathetic. For such a cause wanting immortality, maybe I should not go there. Please, I beg of you. Maybe you should beg the right person, not me. I am nothing more than a heartless mortal who doesn't care about anything. Oops, immortal. Who doesn't care about anything? Please, no, 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 no. 
don't kill me. I'm not going to. But tell me with the one good reason why I should meet him. You might be able to learn some things that you haven't learned and grasped. All right. Tell your master that I will be meeting him after one week. You'll come here, take me there. No funny games. You remember, right? And I will be arriving there without any toxin noticeable to any. You won't be able to notice anything from me. All right. I, I will tell him this. You will be pleased. Thank you very much. Now scram. As in an instant, Kabuto disappear. As we see Kabuto straight panting towards Orochimaru. Orochimaru-sama. Orochimaru-sama. Good news. Calm down, Kabuto. What is it? The kid is great to meet with you. That is surprisingly good. What did he say? One week later, he will meet you. I, I, am, I am to be sent there and bring him to you. Good. The kid knows at least this much. But don't you think that something is wrong here? Maybe. Maybe we should put a layer here of antitoxins as much as we can. It will do little to no, but it will slow down the process, giving us a time to decipher the code or the antidote at least, or even try to, you know, manipulate him to giving it to us. That is correct. You, my discipline, have been studying hard, and I am quite pleased with how far you have come. Thank you, Orochimaru-sama. Now all we have to do is wait. As one week passed, the people of Konoha were terrified of Naruto now and his undead army. They were afraid of seeing the dead people walking amongst them blankly, looking at them, greeting at them, smiling at them. But more than ever, they were afraid of the monster known as Naruto. Much more worse form of Kyuubi than ever. He was a literal demon in their eyes who could spa spawn any one of their dead ones to use against them. That is why they were afraid of him. Terry and Tom was that he could kill anyone anytime he wanted because of the infects and viruses that he has injected into their ozone layer and atmosphere and God knows how much they have inhaled and their children have. As now we see, Naruto working in his lab, so you finally arrived. Kabuto. Yes. Good. Not at a sleeve then. As we go towards Orchimaru's lair that was near Konoha, one hour later. So you are the Naruto Uzumaki, the one bane in my path, as many many antitoxins were sprayed there. <laughs> nice choice, antitoxins, I like it. You're not vulnerable here, you think so? I told you that you won't be able to notice anything and we're not noticing any toxins on you. I was able to create an orderless toxin, what do you say? As this caused them to go into quite shock and alert state. What do you mean? You're bluffing. And in an instant, Kurimaru as well as some of the other people who were there, mainly the Sound 4, began to dissolve into nothing. <laughs> See this? As now, they were aware of the monster they have summoned into their own den. Now tell me, why have you called for me? You have something that I desire. That is what I want. The secrets to thy mortality. And for what? My apprentice have already told you the reason, I suppose. That is bluffing. I want to know the true purpose of you wanting this jutsu. I'm afraid of dying. If that is what you want to know, I cannot use... I cannot use the snake sage mode. After using it once, in a haste, I've lost a lot of my limbs were within. And I have been trying to regenerate them again and again. And they have been failing after weeks of use only. Now, I need a new body soon. And I have been trying to get new bodies, but they only work for a year. Max at least up to a year, I see. So after that, you just go back to normal? Yes. After that, I am able to harvest a clone of mine, which I'm able to supply my soul with. But the clone's body dissolve as well. Hmm. That is the most crappiest way to achieve immortality. In a sense, you are able to transfer your soul, but you're not able to make a solidified body of your own. And that is what you called me here for? To make you a solidified body? Yes. How other than this you were able to achieve immortality? Simple. Because of this elixir, Naruto said, as he placed a green liquid in a glass jar in front of him. This is an elixir, I call it as. It has been made by the spring water and a little bit of spiceful herbs and from the drops of the 
ink off the Fujitsu seals. Built in with a lot of black magic. What? It is knowledge when you think about it. I mean, come on. Black magic is a knowledge. And a resourceful one if you use it correctly. But that is revolved around to be the cursed knowledge. How can you... I, everyone can study if you have a can for it. <laughs> now, tell me. What would you give to achieve this, Orochimaru? I... Would you side with me? Be my disciple. And be on my guard. As Orochimaru grew his teeth, he was afraid of dying. He knew that he didn't have much time. Two years, five years at max, he was pushing his time and luck. But for how long? It was bound to happen that his luck would ran out. And he had no other choice. But would you betray me? I promise you this much that I won't. Good. As after breaking the jar, he drank it down. After feeling a bit of pain, Rochimaru stood more paler than ever. As he bowed, my master. Good. It seemed as if the <laughs> seals are working properly. I knew you would try to betray me, so the seals kicked in as a countermeasure. And now you're a bound slave to me, Rochimaru. Against your will, I am your slave, my lord. Use me as you wish. And that is what I'm going to do. Continue on with your plans. And try to look into those villages of destroyed those of Shogakure. And find the ruins and the dead bodies or the tombs of where those of Shio remained. I'm going to bring back them into my own army. And those who have killed them, they better run and hide. Because the things that are coming after them are not shinobi. Not at least mortal ones. <laughs> But the undead immortal ones. As after that Naruto disappeared, as that is when Kabuto was scared shitless, as Naruto looked at him with a gleam in his eye. You want immortality too, Kabuto. Stand on the right direction of the history that is about to be made, and you might achieve it. And after that Kabuto bowed to Naruto as Naruto left. And soon after that we go towards the Katsuki members, as there has been a lot of news that has been circulating about Orochimaru, who have deserted them what has been going on as the Bukarski members have gathered for a meeting as well. So what's the new news? This kid Naruto Uzumaki, the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails, is off. Off like what? Killed? Said he not. No, not killed you idiot. His personality, the way he thinks. I have been trying to see what he's doing but I can't. There is a lack of air or hard to breathe where I'm there. You know I'm a half plant, right? There is some sort of something surrounding him in a dome-like state in the air, and invisible to an eye, that is dangerous to me. I begin to dissolve into nothing when I'm near him. That scares me. He's full of mysteries, and we don't know nothing about him. Calm down, Zetsu. Everything is in order. Everything will be revealed in the due time. Our mission is simple, and that is to... And that is when they heard the news. Bad news. Pain-sama. Said the news deliverer of the Akatsuki, a minor member. What? Tell me. Uzushio. People have been revived. Because they are literal skeletons with eyes walking towards us. And they have, they have destroyed two villages behind. What? And that is when they all went outside to see that the literal undead army of Uzushio Gakure soldiers were walking and marching towards them, dragging their swords on the ground and drawing like monsters at them. What in the god's name is this? As Naruto then appeared out of nowhere behind them, let me tell you something. That is, the undead army of those Shio's people were only set out to do one thing, kill their murderers. And you are standing in their path. As Naruto then saw that all of them turned towards him and went into a defensive position. Who in the hell are you? That's him, that's Naruto. Ah, so you know about me, but why? As Naruto broke a, broke a black glass bottle and threw it down. Anyone, don't breathe! And in an instant, it was too late. Every, everyone has. As Naruto then got them weakened and paralyzed in an instant. This is a stronger toxin of mine, mixed with all of my viruses and agents. It has a lot of effects. Paralyzing in the beginning, redness, blindness, Heart failure, kidney failure, cancer, and in an instant, 
meltation of each organ from within until your bodies and muscles begin to dissolve as well. And then maggots form and they eat you up from within. Narada sat with a smile on his face that looked innocent and creepy at the same time. And it sent chills down their spines as well. So now tell me, what is it that you want from me? Why were you talking about me? As Narada halted his army. We, we want it. Don't tell him. It is the only way, said Itachi. We have to. Damn it, no. We're not taking this much of a risk. It's not worth it, said Kakazu. As Hidan, Sasori, and Deidara, all of them were going to put Hidan and said, Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna kill this bastard. We can wait for a bit. As he tried to move, but in the end, he was dissolved. What? I cannot die. I'm an immortal. This is impossible. No, no. I will kill you, you fucker. No. Josh and Sama, you can't abandon me. Isn't he just <laughs> eyesore? And not to tell you, busting of your ear crowns. Jeez. Now, as I was mentioning, oh yes, you guys, tell me, or else same thing will happen to you. Now it being demonstrated on an immortal member of their own team, they were left with only one option, and that was to reveal everything to him. And that is when they saw the lanky figures behind Nord. That's the most person that attacked this Naruto. As Naruto's eyes fell towards the most person as he smiled. Ah, is he now? As Naruto walked up to him and revealed his face. Damn it! As Minato and Kushinash were shocked. Obito? As Naruto slapped him across the face. I don't even care who the fuck you are. But you just messed with me and my family. And for that, Naruto dragged him by the collar and threw him over the top of the ledge towards where the zombies were. Fuck you, Uzumaki, and your family, Minato. Because of you, I lost her. Oh, you mean her? <laughs> As Rin arrived there amongst the zombies, looking like a zombie like straight. Oh my god, what have you done to her? <laughs> Something that is about to happen to you. Goodbye now, Obito Uchiha. You will certainly not be missed. As Rin and everyone else began to dig into Obito's flesh and Obito's screams were heard as everyone was now close to pissing their pants as they were afraid of the monster they were facing in human skin and flesh. Is this even a kid? How is this even possible? How did this kid gain this much knowledge? The answer was simple. His thirst for it and the resources that were provided to him by Haruta Sarutomi himself. He wanted a prodigy but what he created was a monster and this monster was now standing in front of all of them defeating them and making them bow to his will and submit to him. My master, Orochimaru? As they all were now even more scared seeing Orochimaru bow to him. Yes, I am here as a loyal servant of Naruto-sama. Ah, Orochimaru, you have a history with them? I used to work with them. Then back I was immortal. And now since I have been turned immortal and your loyal slave, Naruto-sama, I only work for you. And my undying loyalty belongs to you, as it should. Now, tell me who is the leader, that Renegon user over there. Please don't, don't kill him. Don't dissolve this body. You can dissolve mine. It's a pain. And why should I? What do you mean yours? This is the body of my friend, who I've been using. He died because of, because of Konoha Shinobi no Yuna's Gato. Gato doesn't exist in. Konoha's history books. What are you talking about? <sighs> Gato was an Elysis name that Danzo used in the second great Shinobi War. I should have known that fucking monster. Calm down, Saru. We will deal with him after reviving him. So, I can revive this friend of yours, but only to one thing. You two will have to submit to me, willingly, or there are some countermeasures that will force your will to be bent to my will as it has happened to Orochimaru. And I wish you do on your own free will because it will give you a little bit of freedom. Not like Orochimaru here, I'll stiffen him off. As Naruto showed them the green el elixirs in front of him, as they grabbed it and drank it down, as after leaving the control of Yahiko's body, Naruto forced him to drink this as well, as he was revived as well. Conan? Is that you? Y Yahiko. As Conan began to cry, hugging him, as a re renewally healthy Nagato arrived there. I bow to you, 
and submit to you. My powers, my abilities, my everything is to you. For you and only you, Naruto Sama. And we will use it for your will only, as the two other bowed as well. Good. You three are forever now my generals, alongside with my butler Orochimaru. And now, we shall feast, my people, on, upon those who have wronged you. As then, we go towards Eva. As it was a peaceful day now there, only for them to see many undead walking towards them. They tried again and again in, under their Kaga's demand to do something, but in the end all failed until they saw undead Uzushio's leader walk in front of them. As he roared and directed his sword towards Oniki, you bastard, Arashi Uzumaki, Oniki, die, betrayal. I did because your foolish clan was getting powerful. Is that it, huh? Who are you? I am Naruto Uzumaki, Namikaze. Naruto said with a smile, I should have known. I should have known I should have killed you. And yet you didn't. Your biggest mistake. And now, you're gonna pay for it. With every fucking cent. As Naruto then killed him, as in an instant, Oniki and his village was no more. It was sweep, clean sweep. People have been turned into mindless zombies who begin to feed on their own until they dissolved and died within 48 days. And after that, they arrived at Mizu to destroy it, but only to find that they were battling from within and those of the older generation were killed off. And Naruto, the maid slave of Mei, who was now his co-combine as well, and then continued off to the next nation known as Kumo. Kumo then bowed down to his will as well. As we see a submitting to him, we do not wish to fight. What my ancestor did was not good, and they are unfortunately dead, so I cannot hand them over to you. <sighs> I'm not here to take revenge on you. I did take so on Mizu and Iwa because they were the ones who were pushing for it. As the history suggests, you were trying to decline it, as did your ancestors, but in the end, you sided with them. For that, I will do this. You and your whole generation will be pushed with only living up to 60 years of time. After that, there will be only awaiting one thing for you, and that is that. Please don't do this. There are many people who are. Do you I look like I care? This is the least amount of mercy I can show you. Now the countess clock is ticking. Make sure that each and every day is valuable, and you should cherish it. As Naruto then left, as he was left there in a shocking state, that he alongside his village has been cursed because of the mistakes of their elders. Damn those idiots. Why do we have to pay for their mistakes? Why? And now we go to Urizuna, who was the most terrified of all of the elemental nations because of what happened. Not only them, but the minor villages such as the rice, vegetable, as well as the snow country. They were all terrified of this monster known as Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze, who has just arrived, rise from Konoha and did all of this within the course of just one year, overthrowing three nations and, not only that, trampling over one of the most arrogant nations will and making them now obsessed with life. And finally, it was his tur side, it was their turn to be turned towards by Naruto. As Naruto marched towards Suna first, as soon as people have gathered around him, their breaths hitched. Well, you know what? I'm gonna be straightforward. <sighs> if you don't betray me, I will suggest, I will consider s doing some things about this village and its environment. After all, this could be a part of science as well. And it, it's all, not only about building viruses and all that. That is something I needed back then. But all my duty did was a push. That is why I did all this. You mean? Yes. I wasn't going to do any of this. It was by the leaf of fate, an opportunity that I saw. I did this all. You are a monster, you know that? And you're going to hell. Well, that is something for those who die. As for me, I am eternal. I won't. So, yeah, there's a high chance that I won't die and I won't go in there. <laughs> How can you be so sure? There, maybe there is a way to kill your immortality. Oh, trust me, I tried. 
Miss Bullet's proof. You wanna know who I tried to demote? Who? On those who tried to attack me. <laughs> oh boy. It was priceless. Just to make them see no matter how much they hurt me, I wouldn't feel the need of pain. And wouldn't die. And just slit their throats, watching their eyes leave. A soul leave their eyes, turning them into soulless pearls as they are. You are sick to be head kid. Ah, oh, trust me, this society is more than even me. I'm just a wanderer who has been ruled over by the society way too much longer for until for him to be flipped upside down and do this. There are more people like me who could do worse. So better be beware. He said, suggesting two words. God who was looking like he was about to murder someone. They might be the biggest monsters. Who knows, maybe you're keeping it close to your heart. And instead of just destroying it, you can use it, manipulate it, turn it into your weapon like I did. Because after that, Naruto left and destroyed the snow country a mile on the way back. And when he returned, he married the snow country's princess as she fell in love with Naruto on the first side and so did Naruto. Now Naruto had an official wife and a concubine, made Terumi and they lived happily there, in their war torn and far spread out village. Even the Otsukis weren't safe from them. Momoshiki, Ishiki and Kishiki alongside their slaves arrived, they were killed in an instant. People of their elemental mission have been able to adapt to live through them and these circumstances, and they have. But you might be wondering, what happened to Jiraiya? Where was he? As so could be said for Tsunade. Well, the answer is simple, they were killed. They abandoned Naruto. Naruto didn't need them. Henceforth killed. Simple as that. And turned into brainless zombie soldiers. Nothing more, nothing less. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story off, guys. I know it's quite dark, but yeah. I hope you liked this one, and if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace!